Good morning. A little different version of the uh, light being hidden. It's not being hidden under a bushel basket. Um, but Jesus says, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. I guess conceals it with a vessel means like to light the lamp and then take a pot and set it on top of it, upside down, which doesn't make any sense because you would probably starve it of oxygen and it would go out. Um, or to set it under a bed. Why would you not light a candle and set it under a bed? What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> right? Part, part, of the, uh, part of it is just kind of the ridiculous nature of if you were to have a, a candle, why would you put a pot on top of it? It's going to go out. Or why would you put it under a bed? You're going to burn your house down. Um, and so Jesus is saying, look, l- listen, I've given you this great light, right? I've revealed to you who I am. Um, and now you have great responsibility. You need to illuminate the world with what you know. You need to take uh, what I have given to you and give it to others. And that's not always an easy task for us to do, to take what God has given to us and to give it to others, because it is a great responsibility for us to proclaim the gospel, for us to proclaim the good news, for us to let that light shine forth in a world that is full of darkness and doesn't want the light, right? The light shone forth in the darkness, could not comprehend it from the prologue of St. John's Gospel. The darkness could not comprehend the light that was being shone forth. We live in a world that does not comprehend what God is trying to do for us. We live in a world that does not comprehend what God is trying to give us. And God taps us on the shoulder. And he says, go out and tell them. Go out and shine. Go out and proclaim the good news. Yesterday's gospel reminded us of generosity, to be generous. We're called to go out into the world and to generously pour out the gospel. To let that light shine. We're going to receive Holy Communion in just a moment fills us with light, fills us with the goodness of Jesus. Let us leave from this place. Let us go out into the world. Let us go to our homes, our whatever we're going to do today. It doesn't matter. I have to go to the gym today. I don't want to do that. Let us go wherever we're going to go and let the light of Jesus Christ shine forth.